best part. <laughs> you are sweet. What do you say you hang around here tonight, okay? I promise I will make it worth your while. Mm, that sounds tempting. Yeah? But no. No, oh, come on. What do you mean, no? I'm making you an offer you can't refuse. Mm, I don't want to leave, but I've got to get home and hit those books tonight. Mm. Remember, my test is coming up. Ah, uh, yeah. How could I forget? <laughs> One thing I won't forget, though. Oh, what's that? Your birthday. Oh. Yeah, after that, I won't be uh, robbing the cradle anymore. <laughs> 21. Boy, am I getting old. Oh, yeah, right. You, you made a transition though, from child bride to womanhood very gracefully. Thanks a lot. <laughs> you want something special for your birthday? Surprise me. I will. You come in. Mm. Sorry for the interruption. That's yeah. all right. I was just leaving. I gotta get home and crack those books tonight. That's... What can I do for you? Well, we seem to be running short of Chablis at the bar, and I left my keys to the wine cellar at home. Oh, okay. You can use mine. Well, mm. good night, gentlemen. Good luck on your exam. Thanks. I'm not going to make it a late night. Mm. I'll wait up for you. Okay. Bye, Martin. Bye, Susie. Uh, your keys. You know, Martin, we really ought to do a complete inventory down there. Yeah, we seem to be selling a lot more wine than we all mix drinks these days. Yes, come in. Warren, you have a minute. Martin. <clears throat> yeah, uh, come on in, mister. Uh, I really should get the wine to the store. Excuse me. Well, what can I do for you? I've got a real big problem. Okay, anything I can help you with? I certainly hope so. Uh -huh. What is it? There's this guy hanging around. Well, that's what the club's for, so people can hang around on wine. Yeah, he wants to unwind all right with me, back at his apartment. Ah, I see. Well, I, I don't blame him. You're a very attractive woman. And look, just tell him that it's against company policy to fraternize with the customers. I did that. He won't take no for an answer. All right, I, I hate when guys push too hard. Just uh, tell him that if he keeps it up, you're going to have to tell your boss. Sweetheart, you are exhausted. And you can't keep going on like this. Up with Turner every night, putting in a heavy schedule every day. Uh, you're spreading yourself too thin. Haven't you ever heard of Supermom? Yeah, well, Supermom's gonna have to reorder her priorities. Like maybe back off a little from your involvement at Channel 6. How can you say that? Before I showed up, Stephanie was practically ignoring social responsibility. Mm hmm Case in point. I love Sonny, but was it necessary to have her for dinner when everything else is going on? Well, having Sonny over for dinner is not necessarily social. Poor thing, after all she's been through lately, she really needs a friend right now. And I really need you right now. McCleary, how you doing? Hey, I'm just trying to get this article typed up so that you guys down at the print shop will have something to do tonight other than just goof off. Oh, yeah, my heart bleeds for you, huh? You sitting around the desk with a beautiful blonde all the time, huh? In fact, just the other day, the guys was asking me, and they were saying, how does McCleary do it? I don't understand it, huh? Putting in all this overtime just with this hot ticket down here at the Harold Cup. That's it, Eddie. One more word out of you, and you're going to be counting your teeth in your hands. Hey, no problem. If you go back to the print shop and you tell those morons down there that Miss Adamson is all lady. Anything you say. Take it easy, huh?
appreciate you taking the time. I know it's silly to get you involved in such a minor matter. Hey, we're a family here. If it's bothering you, it's important to me. It's terrific you feel that way. In some of the places I worked before, they told me it was my fault whenever a guy came on to me. Actually, a girl likes to know she's attractive, but I'm only attracted to certain types. Yeah, okay, if the guy doesn't understand, he can just take his business elsewhere. Somehow I thought you'd be like this. You're a very sensitive man who cares about people. Come on, you point that jerk out to me, all right? Wrote me a letter before. 